Learning Outcome 1, Plan and Prepare for Tasks to be Undertaken. In this lesson, we are going to identify tasks to be undertaken, discuss proper tool selection, and explain safe use of tools and environmental safety and health program. Take a look at these photos. What tasks being done in each in each photos? For number one, that's right, it's cleaning the monitor. But no, photo number two, cleaning the keyboard using a brush. It's correct. About number three, connecting wires inside the system unit. That's right. And number four, installing the CPU. That's correct. And number five, tighten or loosen the screw of the printer head. Very good. So those are the different tasks being done in each photos. In preparing for tasks to be undertaken, you have to consider the following. First, the proper tool selection. Second, safe use of tools. And the third, environmental safety and health program. Before we will proceed with proper tool selection, let's define first a tool. What is a tool? A tool is a handheld device that aids in accomplishing a task. Can you give an example of tools that you know? Okay. Yes, example of tools is screwdriver. What else? wire cutter, a flashlight, a cleaning cloth. Those are examples of tools. How do you select the best tool for the job? First, you have to know and understand the detail, the scope of work to be accomplished. Second, you have to plan for the scope, taking into account the sequence of tasks. You have to understand that in selecting the best tool for each task requires training in the proper use of hand tools, field experience in their safe use, and following the manufacturer's guidance or instructions for that specific tool. When obtaining the tool, all the associated tooling and consumable parts as recommended by the manufacturer must be included. Example, the picture shows a slotted screw. So since it is a slotted screw, it will use a flat head screwdriver to loosen or tighten the screw. In selecting a tool, you have to use the tool for the purpose for which it was designed. Not all tools come with detailed instructions, but there are those that do spell out the safety, the do's and don'ts. Operator's judgment must always be based on what is the safest way to use the tool. The last but not the least thing that you would consider in preparing for tasks to be undertaken is the Environmental Safety and Health Program. First, all tools must be kept in a good condition with regular maintenance. Example, some tools must be lubricated, rust-free, and dry. The right tool be used for the job. Example, Phillips head screwdriver shouldn't be used to puncture objects. Third, each tool be examined before use and damage or defective tools not to be used. So if defective tools is no longer useful, it's beyond repair, it's time to discard it. Tools be operated according to manufacturers instruction or user guide then the last is the right protective equipment for the tool and activity be used so to protect yourself you should always use ppe or personal protective ex equipment example goggles a helmet an air plug a vest shoes gloves mask Okay, those are examples of PPE. Now, I want you to explain why is it proper tool selection important in performing a task? Write your answer in your notebook. <laughs>